Well, it is 8 hours and 28 minutes into the day of October 9th, yeah, Friday, October 9th, uh, 2020, and we are starting the vlog for the uh, for the 9th, and we will continue vlogging till the 10th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be, the weekend is going to be a three-day weekend in terms of uh, the official weekend. <laughs> Uh, in terms of what I do, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the one-day weekend, uh, where we vlog as one whole day for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'll do a, uh, another, uh, then we'll start the schedule again, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, Monday, no, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh. Mm. Where that other uh, rattle off that I had in terms of the days came from, I have no idea. <laughs> this is the way things go. This is, this is kind of how uh, I exist. Uh, I just finished about an hour or so of gaming and also meditation. The meditation lasts longer than the gaming. I'm now starting to feel a little rough. I don't have a delivery coming in, uh, scheduled to come in until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's my TNT delivery. And, uh... So that will give me a good six hours of uh, sleep. So I'll be able to sort of really sort of try to get some good sleep in uh, for that time. I don't think I'll be sleeping all that long in terms of straight through. Uh, I know the way it works before, the way it typically works is I will wake up in between. How often I wake up depends, really depends on, on I guess what I'm dreaming about and whether or not the dream actually wakes me up. And that's typically what happens is the dream wakes me up, something wake, something in the dream wakes me up and uh, I'm sitting there for a bit trying to think about <laughs> thinking about the dream before I go back to bed again and uh, and resume uh, the sleep. It just it, it's it, it's an issue of how in many cases also how the body is feeling. Sometimes I wake up and my my muscles are sore, my knees are sore, uh, a lot of things are sore uh, because I've I've recorded some of my sleep. I don't sit still when I'm sleeping. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like I'm running a marathon. So when I wake up, my body is extremely tense, as if as, as if I've been exercising. But I haven't really, you know, in terms of going anywhere, I don't really really go anywhere. Uh, I do notice I do tend to move around a lot. I tend to uh, have body movements that I shouldn't necessarily have. Uh, I, th there should have been pre sleep, there should be sleep paralysis where my legs and my arms really don't move in conjunction with, uh, uh, an event going on in the dream, but they do. Uh, so in other words, uh, if there is running in the dream, I'm running. I'm not, I'm lying down and running on my bed, but I am indeed running. Uh... If I'm kicking something, more often than not, I've, heard, I've done this several times to my ankle and my foot, I've kicked the bed frame. And it just, I, I guess this is sort of the nature of the uh, the awareness that I have. Is that there is, is a degree of translation of the dream, the activities within the dream, to the physical body. And it it doesn't it doesn't make for a restful sleep in other words my uh, sleep time is more active in some cases than my awake time uh, because I am more I, in, in my dreams I'm more actually more active in my dreams than I am in in, in real life uh, my new activities now that instead of the hiking I used to do is now going to be the scooter I'll be doing the scooter at least once a week but uh, it depends on what the weather is, but you know, if the weather outside is half decent, then I'll I'll be going scooting. If uh, the weather's not half decent, in other words, there's rain on the road or, or uh, ice on the road, then I won't be going scooting because uh, the uh, scooter isn't sort of built for that 
uh, type of road and, and I don't want to end up sliding all over the place. So uh, the, the the goal is to stay scooting uh, only when the pavement is kind of dry. Anyways, that's it for now. Let's see what we can get done for the day in terms of uh, the editing. Uh, I should be able to do three segments today. Uh, I will probably, I will film uh, the TNT uh, delivery as it comes in. There was nothing, there really wasn't anything to film for the Fusion uh, 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 delivery. Because it was all milk. It was mostly milk. But I do have something I will bring up from the fridge that was from the Fusion that's a little different that, that, that uh, might be of interest. Well, this is as good as it's going to get in terms of the framing. At quarter to four in the afternoon on Friday, October 9th. Yeah, I remembered. And we're here because uh, my TNT order came in, and I'm going to unpackage it. It wasn't too, it wasn't too much in terms of the overall uh, assortment of things. I just got to open the package. Doesn't seem to be one cooperate, so let's get this done. And this is too much of an effort. Uh, let me get my scissors. And I'm back. Much better. Okay, what we have is a good supply of the uh, dried apricots. This is amazing. So I got myself a good number of packages. I got uh, what I use a lot as well in cooking. Rather than going out and buying powdered onion or anything like that, uh, the Chinese stores have a deep fried onion hole. Uh, you put it into a grinder and you uh, grind it to the uh, fineness that you wish. I leave mine somewhat of a coarse ground. Uh, then I got the. I don't. I don't buy. I don't buy coal cuts anymore. What I do is, if I don't make it myself, I get uh, these chubs of ham and chubs of uh, cold cuts. All, all, all cold, cold cuts are basically sausages. And uh, this is what I slice for sandwiches. If I want to have a cold sandwich, then that's what I do. Uh, let me show you here. Here. If you wanted to make your own sausages, and I do, uh, for cold cuts, uh, well, these are the pans you would use. They're like a bread pan. They're, el they're elongated. And um, basically, you pack the meat, the, the, the sausage meat that you uh, that you want to that you want to use. You pack it in here. You put it in the oven for uh, at 200 degrees again, slow and low. Uh, you do it for a couple hours. Uh, you take it out, you let it sit for a day in the refrigerator, unpack the meat, and then slice it thin. And you have uh, thin sliced meat for sandwiches. The other thing I got, uh, which is down on the ground, mm. 
a quick snip does the job. More of these jellied fruits. And when I'm done with the, with the fruit jellies, I have a bottle to reuse for other things. So I've got two of these. Uh, this goes well with the pork sausage I make. Uh, the pork sausage I'm making right now is a Japanese version of sasabi. Sasabi is uh, almost like a... Uh, it's 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 it, it's a spam it's a spam on uh, glutinous rice uh, recipe, almost like almost like a sushi sushi. Uh, but what happens is that you can either buy the spam, which is basically a, a, a minced pork or ground pork uh, type of sausage, and then you could the flavor of it depends on how you spice it, so. Uh, mine has uh, uh, Thai chilies ground up in it, fresh ground chilies, uh, uh, ground up chilies in there. It's got, uh, that's for the heat. And I don't remove the seeds. Then uh, there's ginger, uh, soy sauce, and in the um, pan where I do the um, uh, char siu, uh, which is the form. Oh. Chinese form of roasting there is a spice bed and in the spice bed I put uh, a star anise and it gives it a little bit of that licorice flavor in as you uh, as you're uh, cooking with it and so uh, I, I I do my stuff has an, a fair amount of spice to it so it's got a fair amount of flavor to it as well so anyways uh, that's uh, my order from TNT it's, it's very short very small but uh, this will last me at least uh, 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 at least a month, if not longer. So, uh, well worth the price. Well, it is. Uh Five, five hours and 32 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 10th, I think it is. Let's get check right here. Give me two seconds to check. Yeah, it's the 10th. 10, 10. <laughs> 10th day of the 10th month. So, we've got that. Uh, Saturday already, and uh, I seem to be closing in on the videos. The, ed the editing is going very well. It the day was productive. I was, I got my delivery from, uh, yeah, I got my delivery from TNT earlier today. <laughs> it's hard on, it, it, it it's, it, I was going to say yesterday, but it feels like it's yesterday, but it's 5 o'clock in the, well, so it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm just finishing, more or less. I'm, I've got my gaming and meditation, the next round of meditation to start. Uh... But everything is everything is going well. I just I think I'm heading back into burn in, into burnout territory again. Uh, every time I'm, I'm heading into burnout territory, that's that's how I feel. Uh, but the thing is, I don't really know if I'm ever out that much of out of burnout territory. It's because I I, I do still it, it, part of it has to do with that that the dreams I have at night still some of them still come into my waking my waking state. The, the in terms of that I'm still thinking. Oh, I'm still thinking about them, and the question is, is that it, 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 it's, it's not an issue of obsession; it's an interest, in, 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 an issue of interest. These dreams are interesting; they they they, they present puzzles uh, of things that I, I find interesting in terms of uh, trying to resolve or solve. Uh, what the problem is, or what what the puzzle is, and a lot of times your information comes in in bits and pieces, and never comes together as a as a one entire thing. And so you do have to go through a lot of sources. You have to go through a lot of uh, of thought. But each, 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 every source you, you you experience, every time you each experience is each experience is a source. 
let me explain it that way, each experience is a, as a source. So imagine each experience becoming now, uh, because it's a source, this is your library. Your li you have a library of, of experiences. Well, the thing is, is that your understandings on, ho on how you see things changes with more experience. Uh, with the more experiences you have, the more sources you have, the better you have. Because you're looking at different perspectives. You want to see different perspectives. And this is sort of what occurs now, is that uh, today I did my YouTube path, YouTube show, went down the standard path. Uh, I went uh, Yali Vlogs, uh, It's Our Life, um, Levy Boys, Our Family Nest, uh, Family Five Vlogs, uh, down to Clintus. And then from that path there, I went sort of off path, uh, just to sort of see what else, what else was out there. And I ended up off a path of Family Five Vlogs. Family Five Vlogs uh, provided, provided the sub path into uh, people's, ex uh, people's uh, vloggers' experience in college. And I found some pretty good vloggers who would put up their daily life or li the life of a college student. They'd film their daily life in college. And you, you see how each person uh, takes these particular challenges I in their life. Uh, and because you see the teens, you see the kids, you see the adults with the, pa the parents of, of, the, of the kids. And now you're seeing people who are sort of on the precipice. Uh, they're not teens, but they're also not adults yet. And you see their first uh, emergence into sort of independent living, independent territory, and this is kind of what's happening on uh, uh, Our Family Nest, is Our Family Nest is uh, uh, Andrew is uh, the oldest, is uh, now moving out, because he got a job two and a half hours away, so he's getting his own place, and that's kind of how things go. So you know, these experiences help you build an understanding, a better understanding, of some of the things things that I'm working on because you understand other people's perspective. And this is what occurs in dreams, particularly if you're somebody if you're somebody else in a dream, and that does happen for me, I end up being other people. I end up taking on their experiences. I get to walk a mile in their shoe their shoes and so when I'm wake I'm awake, I kinda of, oh okay, yeah, that's how that figures out and how that that that's how that figure out figures out. And I have a better sense for what's actually occurring. And then I began to realize as I was looking at things, because so I got some puzzling uh, comments about the term gnosis. Gnosis is often, uh, often uh, viewed with the left-hand path. And the left-hand path is typically evil. And this is where you have the Illuminati, you have the Masons, you have a number of organizations that are, are, are associated with bad things. Ugh. Phone was going off. Oh, it's still going off. Anyways, I'll leave it for that. I'll leave it for now. It's not really anything of importance. And what happens, Gnosis is not simply the left-hand path. It, 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 it contains a number of, uh, of paths. Because there's left and right-hand path. Right-hand path is towards spirituality. But even within the spirituality, the, the sense of spirituality, there are multiple paths in there as well. There's not simply the one path. I talk about the path because the, the path I'm on, uh, the Eastern Christian path, leads towards... Uh, Etern to eternal life, uh, oneness with God. The other paths don't offer this. They offer a, a sort of a oneness with the universe, a oneness with the creation. And so you're doing the same things in many cases, or it looks very similar, but the end point is very different. Uh, my phone just started calming down now. <laughs> Anyways, so, but this, this helps you as, as, as I'm sitting here, and this has been going on for up a couple of days now, in terms of these thoughts, you know, how does how does someone perceive some of the stuff that I'm doing? And there is a bit of confusion there. So 
I will be explaining more, but you can't explain everything all at once. There's there's too much to talk about. There's too much information here. So, again, none of it touches on whether I'm worth it or not. It's not, not an issue of whether I'm worth it or not. So there's no refunds.